Hello everyone. I am Dr. Rana Shahwal, Assistant Professor, Department of Commerce, the Bhopal School of Social Sciences. Today we are going to discuss about capital market. What is capital market? Capital market is a market that deals in long-term securities, which have a maturity period of more than one year. Capital market is the market of financial assets, which have long and indefinite period. To understand to understand the concept of capital market, first of all, we have to know its origin. Capital market is one of the very important component of financial market. What is financial market? Financial market is the market which provides link between savers and investors. Here in the financial market, the saver and the investors easily transfer their funds. Financial market provides a facility of transfer and funds of money from those who have surplus and saving funds to those who have in need of funds. In this way, the financial market fill the gap between the savers and investors. The another important component of financial market is money market. Money market is for the short term securities and which have a maturity period of a one year only. So here we can compare capital market is for long term securities and money market is for short term securities. Capital market having a maturity period of more than one year or long and indefinite period and money market is for short term period and having a maturity period of one year or within a year. To understand the capital market in detail, let's assume there are two parties. One party is having savings or surplus and they want to raise it, they want to increase it. They have n number of investment options like fixed deposits, investment in land, investment in property, investment in gold as early as possible with maximum returns. They want to raise their funds, they want to increase their funds as early as possible with maximum returns. So they have to go in capital market. On the other side, the another party is the companies corporates, organizations or institutions, those who are those who are having a need of funds. They want to raise their funds, they want to acquire their funds from the market. So the capital market provide a platform to the one party and the another party. From the capital market, they can easily exchange their funds in certain regulations. So this is the concept of capital market where the one side, the one party is the saver and the another party is the investors and through the capital market, through this platform, they can easily exchange their funds for some specific reasons. Okay. Next in line, we have objectives and importance of capital market. First of all, to grow and development of an economy, an efficient, organized and systematic capital market is very important. Capital market ensure best possible coordination between the savers and investors which leads to capital formation. Through the coordination of savers and investors, they can easily uh, form the capital. The capital formation is possible only through the exchange of funds between the savers and the investors. The third objective in line is capital market ensures optimum utilization of financial resources through investment in profitable channels. Features of capital market. First of all, capital market is the market for long term securities which have a maturity period of more than one year. Capital market is one of the very important component of financial market or financial system which provide a facility to invest in long term securities for long and indefinite period of time. Capital market facilitates borrowers and the lenders of the funds. The third feature is helps in raising capital. So, as we know that the companies, the organizations or the institutions always want to raise their funds, they want to collect their funds, they want to acquire their funds from the market to invest in the business. So capital market is the platform which provide all these con conditions feasible for the companies or the organizations. Next in line, it involves both the institutional investors as well as the individuals. Next is meet demand in supply. Next is meets demand in supply. 
one side the companies organization or institutions are in need of funds you know, they are demanding funds and on the other side the savers the investors those who are having savings or surplus they can supply funds to those corporates so in this way we can say capital market provide a platform through which the savers and investors easily exchange their funds intermediaries play a very crucial role in the capital market they fill the gap between the savers and investors they provide the work of linkages they provide a link between the savers and investors in capital market the intermediaries are brokers underwriters and portfolio managers and at last the last feature is capital market deals in marketable as well as non marketable securities in next slide we have the capital market comprises capital market comprises the following capital market comprises the following number 1 the fund raisers fund raisers are the public and private companies those who raise funds from the domestic and foreign sources fund providers fund providers are the entities organizations institutions that invest in the capital market the major fund providers are speculators foreign institutional investors mutual funds venture capital funds etc now next is intermediaries now next is intermediaries intermediaries play the role of mediator and they can perform the agency function intermediaries play the role of mediator and they perform the agency function between the savers and investors the intermediaries are there in capital market are like underwriters depository participants portfolio managers etc now next is organizations organizations which make the functioning of capital market easy so in capital market the organizations are bse bombay stock exchange nse national stock exchange along with two depositories nsdl national securities depository limited and csdl central depository limited next is market regulators market regulators in capital market is sebi security exchange board of india which regulate and control the whole capital market next is rbi reserve bank of india reserve bank of india is the central and apex body which regulate and control through monetary system in the country and the last one is department of company affairs further the classification of capital market is primary market and secondary market first of all the primary market primary market is the market where the new or fresh issue bring by the company for the public therefore it is also known as new issue market or initial public offer in other words we can say in primary market only those securities are traded which are not traded earlier there are three ways by which company may raise capital in private market number one is public issue when the companies bring fresh or new issue for the public it is known as public issue next is right issue when the company wants or need some additional capital so they bring the issue for existing shareholders so it is known as the right issue private placement is a way of selling securities privately to small investors the features of primary market or new issue market number 1 primary market is for new long term securities new long term securities means it is for fresh issue the securities issued by the company for first time directly to the investor it means earlier such kind of securities are not traded in any market after receiving the amount from the new issue the company will issue the certificate to the investors it is known as security certificates or share certificates whatever the amount the next feature is whatever the amount received or obtained by the companies from this new issue it can be used 
for the growth and expansion of existing and present business or for setting up new businesses or new ventures. Next in line, loan from financial institutions. Loan from financial institutions is not included in new issue market or primary market. The financial assets sold can be redeemed by original holder of the security. Now, in this slide, we'll discuss about the functions of new issue market and primary market. First of all, we'll see the function of origination. Function of origination refers to the work of investigation, analysis and processing of new project proposals. In number two, we have the underwriting. Underwriters are a group of persons who will take the responsibility to sell the shares in the market on behalf of the company. In return, they can get the underwriting commission. So this is one of the very important function of the primary market. The major underwriter in the major underwriters in India are LIC, UTI, IDBI, and ICICI. Next in line, we have a distribution function. In distribution functions, the brokers, intermediaries can sell the securities to their ultimate investors. Now, next in line, we have secondary market. Secondary market is one of the very important component of capital market. Stock market represent the secondary market. It is also known as stock exchange. Actually, this market is for existing securities, where only the existing or already traded securities are allowed to trade. In other words, we can say the securities which are already traded in primary market and listed in stock exchange only allowed to, only allowed here in secondary market, only allowed here in secondary market. The stock exchange in India are regulated under the Securities Contract Regulation Act 1956 and the Bombay Stock Exchange BSE is the principal stock exchange and the oldest stock exchange of the India. Now the salient features of secondary market. Number one, it is a place where the existing securities are traded. It means only the existing securities are allowed to purchase and sell in the secondary market. Then next feature is, it is the association of person whether they are incorporated or not. The trading in stock exchange is completely regulated and it is regulated by SEBI, Security Exchange Board of India. And all the organizations like trust, government, municipal corporations are allowed to deal at stock exchange. Now these are the functions of stock exchange. Stock exchange ensure liquidity of capital. It is regular market for securities. Evaluation of securities is possible in stock exchange. Mobilizing of surplus savings from investors to savers or savers to investors. Helpful in raising capital. Safety in dealing. If you are dealing in stock market, means it means it is very safe for you. And listing of securities and it provides complete protection to investors. It's all about capital market. Thank you so much. Have a nice day.